In the last lesson, we started scaffolding our main.go file and setting up the cron job that could fire off our various tasks at 8 a.m. in the Vienna time zone. Now we're going to write a generic HTTP function that will be used for both the allergy API calls as well as sending our Slack message. Now, this function is rather complex and does make use of Go's generic functionalities. I won't go into too much detail as to how the function was constructed. I have a separate blog post that goes into the details of its implementation, and you're more than welcome to read about that separately. To get started with this function, we'll create a new folder called utils and a new file called make HTTP request.go. The package here will be utils. And for our function, make HTTP request. That takes a generic type. And then we'll pass the full URL, which is a string. The HTTP method we expect, which is also a string. any headers that the call needs, which is a string and string map. The query parameters, which are of type URL.values. The body, which is IO reader. And the response type T and we'll return that type or an error. The first thing we'll do within this function is to initialize our HTTP client. And we'll convert the string URL to a full URL object with URL.parse with that full URL. If the error is not nil, then we will just return our response type and the error. If the method is get, we need to append any of the query parameters that were passed. So first I'll get the query from the URL object. And we need to loop through those key value pairs within the query parameters. And we will set the key and value. for each parameter. And then we'll set the raw query to the fully encoded built query that we've built here. We also can set the body and that's by making a new request passing the method, the string version of the URL, and the body. If the error is not nil, again, we return the response type and the error. And now that we have our request, we need to set the headers. So also for the key and value of those headers, We will set the header value. And finally, we can do their actual request. And that is quite literally with the client.do function. Again, if the error is not nil, 
we return that response type and the error. We'll also check if the response itself is nil. We'll return the response type and an error saying that calling the URL returned an empty response. And we want to pass in that string version of the URL object. Otherwise, if we continue on here, we want to read the body. And again, if the error is not nil, return that response type and error. Defer the closing of that body. And we also want to check if the status code is not the OK status code. Response type, and we'll also make a custom error here. Similar formatting here. Can throw in a new line with the status code. Another new line with the actual response data. And then we want to put in the URL string, the actual status code, and that response data. Now, if we've gotten this far, we can finally unmarshal the response data into the response object, which is type T that we expect. So we'll declare the response object and we're going to try and unmarshal the response data into the response object. If the error is not nil, turn the response type and the error itself. And finally, we are safe to return the full response object with a nil error. Now when I save here, the Visual Studio Go extension will automatically import all those libraries we used. So IO, the HTTP library, the URL library, strings, and so on. So with a little bit of effort, we have a very powerful generic function. And I like to use this function for nearly any standard REST HTTP call that I need to make. As we've seen, it's implemented so that it can work for get, put, post, and all sorts of HTTP verbs. So with this powerful function now implemented, in the next lesson, we will actually get to calling the allergy API. We'll also define the types that we'll pass as this generic type. So we know that the JSON response will be serialized properly, and then we can consume it further down in our Go code.